the five percent is uh, thus far based on the survey results a very a fairly accurate number but the curve is not what you expect you expect some kind of a linear graph from the bottom to the top it's not it's exponential and i'll give you i'll give you another statistical example using the survey results so on the survey results i have what's called the life satisfaction score okay Call the every what? technician life satisfaction score okay okay so uh, the technician will will do the survey and it's anonymized so you know even if you got 20 techs in the shop they do it nobody gives any personal information that identifies them specifically yes they will say some intimate information on there but it doesn't identify them specifically and at the end of it the service leader doesn't get any of that specific data they only get the report that i generate but so nobody gets that specific information for privacy sake sure but when i break it down <clears throat> using the life satisfaction score. So they rate a series of questions out of seven. And at the end of it, it gives a number. So, and to simplify it, you know, five is the lowest score they can have. They are very dissatisfied with life. 20 is neutral. 35 is, they are extremely satisfied with their life. When you lay over income and their life satisfaction score, things get very interesting. So if they score based on the, on the initial group that I've done, if they score a 19 or less, so they're dissat they're not sat they're they're dissatisfied or mm -hmm. worse, the average income is thirty four thousand five hundred dollars. If their yeah. income if their life satisfaction score on the survey is twenty or higher, so neutral or extremely satisfied, their income average is forty eight thousand dollars. The difference of fourteen thousand dollar difference makes a huge difference, doesn't it? Makes sense. And there's one more step. I've excluded anybody that makes $80,000 or more. Wow. The technicians who make $80,000 or more, their average income is $106,000. And their average life satisfaction score is 26. So very satisfied. Yeah, there's certainly a direct correlation. Absolutely. So you have a jump from 30, basically 35K to 48k to 106,000. That's huge. Based on effectively a quality of life.